Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 28 to 30. The Word of God says, When Saul realized the Lord was with David and that his daughter Michael loved David, Saul became still more afraid of him, and he remained his enemy the rest of his days. The Philistine commanders continued to go out to battle, and as often as they did, David met with more success than the rest of Saul's officers, and his name became well known. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, help us to be people that walk with you and that are known that you are with us, that our success would be from you and bring glory to your name. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, beloved, um, as I said earlier in the week, this, I did a devotional. I finished a full devotional, and as I got ready to uh, upload it, I really wasn't satisfied uh, with it, and I wanted to redo it. This devotional I'm doing a second time uh, because I was not happy uh, with the last devotional. Uh, the reason I wasn't happy with it is because I, I don't think that I, I did justice to the beginning in verse 28 when Saul realized that the Lord was with David. Beloved, uh, ungodly people can know that we are God's people only by uh, us saying so and by us walking in a way that, that demonstrates it. In other words, uh, the testimony that David has the Lord with him is obvious to Saul. And we need to conduct ourselves in a way so that it is obvious to the world that the Lord is with us. Uh, our testimony is not first and foremost uh, what we say. We often think that our testimony or witnessing for the gospel is what we say. We want to have the right words. We want to have the right outfit. We want to have the right formula to speak, the right prayer. But it's not. The first part of our testimony, the most important part, is what we do with the Lord. I, you know, uh, uh, beloved, I've known uh, people that I knew were Christian as soon as I met them. They, they, they didn't talk to me about the gospel, but the way they conducted themselves, the way they acted, the care they had, the love, and as I got to know them, in fact, they were Christians. And so, Christian, we need to let the Lord in us, the Holy Spirit, in our, be shown in our conduct. Because that is the first part of our testimony. I, I had a friend, uh, it was a pastor friend of mine who, who uh, I believe has gone to the Lord now. Uh, he used to say... Uh, that we earn the right for people to hear us share the gospel. We earn the right by demonstrating that we're Christian in what we do before we share who we are by what we say. David, it's obvious that the Lord is with him. When Saul realized that the Lord was with David and his daughter Michael loved him, Saul became still more afraid of him, and he remained his enemy the rest of his days. Beloved, uh, Saul is mad because he does not have the Lord. And that reaction happens sometimes when sinful people encounter God's people. They get mad. They get mad. They persecute. They yell. Don't take it personally. Don't get offended. Don't strike back. Don't react in a worldly way. God is with you. And the person that's reacting in that way needs the Lord Jesus Christ, needs salvation, needs the Lord to turn them around. The Philistine commanders continued to go out to battle, and as often as they did, David met with more success than the rest of Saul's officers, and his name became well known. His success is because the Lord is with him. Beloved, that's what we need. We need success because the Lord is with us. We have the Lord with us. We walk in a way 
that shows the Lord is with us. That's walk in obedience to the Word of God. Walk in obedience to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Walk in prayer. Walk in the Word. Walk in the Gospel. Beloved, as God prospers us, it will be known. And people will see that. I remember a, a situation that happened where um, a young man uh, that I had been visiting for years years I had visited this young man um, and he never came to church but I used to go and see him and pray with him and I, I just I kept going and something told me that, that I need to go and pray with him after a few years uh, he came to church received the Lord Jesus Christ he died uh, and, and went to heaven but before he died and before I even knew he was sick I asked him you know I, I'd been seeing you so long what, what made you come to church and he said I, I watched you I wanted to see if it was true I'd been lied to by so many people beloved it was nothing that I did it was merely me walking in obedience to the word of God then we'll have success may God bless you as you go about your day